Thank God we don't like smell through the camera because my breath smells like garlic. I don't. I smell like garlic. Today, Aaron interviews Jim Bithy and goes over how he achieved his success on YouTube. And then we find out who the three winners are in the $100,000 sponsorship, powered by Freedom. I'm your host, Tiffany, and you're watching Impulse. Yo, what's going on, Freedom family? My name is Aaron, and today's episode, we're gonna dive into another successful YouTuber and figure out how in the world he did it. These guys are absolutely awesome. I'm sure you see in the past two videos how they've done it, some ingredients that uh, they put into practice along the way. But we're gonna tap into another YouTuber. This guy's named Jimbothy. He is humongous right now in the GTA 5 community. But before that, he actually uploaded Call of Duty videos, one being How to Stop a Moab, which actually reached Machinima Respawn and is now the second most watched video. All right, I'm done talking. Let's dive in. Find out how in the world this guy did it. But like always in every episode, I'm gonna ask him, when did he first start succeeding on YouTube? Reason why, a lot of you guys are like, why are you asking the same question? Think about this guy. He could have been an overnight sensation. It could have been a two year sensation. It could have been a five year sensation. The point is, is you guys really need to find out how long it took him before he actually started succeeding on YouTube. So, Jimothy, when did you start succeeding on YouTube? So this would be summer 2012 and um, this is really when I started taking YouTube a little bit seriously. I was in college at the time, so I was on summer break. And summer break, as you know, is a lot longer if you're a college student. You get out in April and then you're back in September. So 2012, I'm like making these fake Easter eggs. I mean, quotation mark fake. <coughs> totally real. <coughs> and uh, they were doing just crazy at the time, 2012. They actually managed to become the top viewed um, pieces on Machinima Respawn. Right now I have the second most viewed video on there with how to stop a Moab. I was like, this is absolutely insane. I'm taking editing skills I learned before and um, 3D animating skills and putting it into YouTube videos. But when I really learned that I could be successful um, would definitely be probably have to say when I got out of college, I was like, let's hit the gate, let's hit the ground running. I have 100K subs, I've accrued over this amount of time. I can definitely do this full time if I just put my mind to it and my nose to the grindstone and keep doing it over and over and over again. And eventually that grew to where I'm at now, like 260K, which is moderate, but it's still a pretty huge number when you think about it. What do you love most about being a YouTuber? I know other YouTubers have their own little awesome things that they love, but to be honest, Timothy, what do you love most? Oh, man, okay, what I love most about being a YouTuber is you get to interact with all these absolutely amazing fans and YouTube followers every single day. You get a whole bunch of love from your fans and followers, and you get a little hate from the people who don't like you, but that doesn't matter because that should inspire you to keep going forward and trying to be a better person. The love is from the followers is absolutely astounding. You're like, I'm getting positive feedback. This is nice. It's a great feeling to entertain so many people and maybe brighten their day up a little bit. All the while, being fairly successful, getting a little bit of cash on the side. There is a cash element that I'll talk about. And you, you, you can maintain a living of appeasing people's needs to be entertained and they love you and respect you for it. It's just a great all around feeling. Along your successful journey, what did you realize was the biggest ingredient or the biggest factor that helped you when you started realizing you were succeeding on YouTube? Consistency is pretty much key to YouTube. You look at any big channel right now, they're consistently uploading. And if they're not, they got something else going on. That's cool too. But consistency is one of the key pillars of YouTube. Another one is luck. You don't control the second one, but you definitely control the first one. And another piece of advice is definitely sort of find ways to pay it forward. If that means like talking to smaller channels when you grow, that helps people out and builds a better community and builds more respect for you as an individual than a person who isn't willing to talk to smaller channels or even address their audience. Be communicative. Be communicative. Sorry, I screwed that up. Be a leader in your community and uh, have fun doing it. That's the most important. Those are the most important facets of being a YouTuber that I will give as key advice to the Freedom Family right now. Now, before I continue with more questions, let's go back to Tiffany to see who the runners up are in today's $100,000 sponsorship powered by Freedom. Thanks guys, that's proof that fake egg... 
Real Easter eggs get viewers, not fake Easter eggs. Real Easter eggs get viewers. Stick with those. And now in no particular order, let's announce the two runners up in the $100,000 sponsorship picked by Heartbeat Chrome. And of course, you get to choose from all these lovely products brought to you by Partners with Freedom. I like bacon jerky. And if you want to learn more about the $100,000 sponsorship, click that beautiful little yellow star flower thing up in the side for more information. Yeah. And now Rick, who was our own special little Easter egg on this show, something we never expected. Our first runner up is Dream Wolf. Dream Wolf has shown that supply and demand are extremely important to know when the time is right to upload a video. As soon as iOS 8 was released for the iPhone and iPad, she immediately created a tutorial on how to record your screen on these devices. This drew a huge amount of traffic that she's never seen from any of her other videos. Wolf also suggested to use Pixlr as an alternative if you don't like GIMP as a replacement for Photoshop. Our next runner-up is Tinvale. He's proven that collaborating with a successful YouTuber, by chance or on purpose, will generate a huge increase in viewership. He watched Ali A announce his open Minecraft server, then immediately jumped in and recorded some awesome gameplay killing this ultimate gaming YouTuber. He also likes the new rules Impulse implemented because it shows the winner has to be determined in order to reach their YouTube goals. Congratulations, Freedom Partners, and remember, you are still eligible to win first prize in a future episode of Impulse. And now back to Aaron for the rest of the busy interview. Yeah. Thanks, Tiffany. Congratulations to those partners on a job. Well done. All right, Jimothy, now you've had a lot of highs and a lot of lows, but let's be honest here. Out of all the highs, what is the most memorable accomplishment? I would have to say either the silver play button right now. That's a pretty big deal for me. I got that in the summer. Or, and or, if I can do two for one, I'm gonna give you a two for one deal here. Um, on Machinima Respawn, if you go through the most popular videos, because we used to all base our whole thing off Respawn, that was the only way to get on YouTube way back in the day, like 29, 2010 sort of deal. Um, I have the second most viewed video on Machinima Respawn after G-Unit's fake nuke. I also did, uh, how to Stop a Moab, which is a trolling video. And that being number two definitely set a record for me. I also have number fifth on that. And I think 10th on their top viewed most videos. And that's out of say like 15 to 20,000 videos that they have. So that's pretty, uh, that's quite the accomplishment for me. All right, now this actually happened to me. I started telling people that I'm starting to work full time on YouTube and they just laughed at me. And then I actually laughed back at them when they realized, oh yes, this actually is a full time job and this is for real even before I started working on Freedom. But, Jimothy, when you started succeeding on YouTube and you actually generated an income, how did your friends and family react? Oh, okay. You, you gotta hit me with the hard one, don't you, Stuck? It started off kind of weird. Okay, so most of my friends were all right with it and when I started telling them the numbers I was getting and how well I was actually doing. But one of them was definitely not, and I recall this, he was like, he was telling me, oh, you gotta get a real job, man. What the fuck are you doing wasting your time on YouTube? And that's because we were always doing YouTube every summer trying to make it work, and eventually I did get to work. But every time we tried and we failed, every single summer coming back from uni or college, we failed. Except for like recent times when I restarted my new channel, which is what I'm on now. And uh, he, he, when I told him, he came over to my place and I was just like, you know, I'm doing YouTube full time because he asked what I'm doing. And I was like, and he was like, well, you got to fucking, you got to drop this shit right now. I'm like, no, man, I'm getting millions of views. Why would I stop? You actually get paid at this point. And uh, then he learned his lesson. Now, as for how other people react, it's, it's a mixed bag. I find people over 30 generally have no idea when i told my parents they were a little skeptical but when you tell them the numbers and break it down when they see stuff like youtube silver play buttons and letters from youtube and million view videos at the time they really start taking your side they're like yeah you can do it i believe in you and supportive people is what you need in your life um at college when i told some professors a lot of them were really excited and happy for me because not everyone can get uh, numbers that succeed in YouTube. It's really hard to succeed in social media in a grand scale. 
but some of them didn't understand it. My grandparents, I don't think understand. They they like that I'm doing something, but how can they? They're like 70, 80 years old. They didn't know what the internet was. So it's really, it's, it's diverse, the reactions you get. Um, I've used it as an icebreaker at a party. It did fairly well. I was just like, yeah, I got a million views. What up? <laughs> All right, guys, if there's any YouTuber at all you want to see on this show, put them in the comments below, and I will try to tap into every single social media aspect that they have, tap on all their front doors, and just see how in the world I'm going to get them on this show. A lot of you guys are saying, PewDiePie, kidding me? Unless you know his agent, unless you know a guy who I can actually talk to to get connected to PewDiePie, that would be awesome. Vanos Gaming, LEA, uh, Ray William Johnson, I've seen all you guys put them in the comments, but those are like impossible YouTubers. Unless you know a connection that I don't, you know, definitely hook me up. And if you really want that specific YouTuber to be on this show, go tweet him out, do a Geizo, throw it in the comments. I would like to see that. I would really like to see the Freedom Family going after these big huge YouTubers and saying, yo, I would love to see you on Impulse. They have this interview show where they tap into your mind, your successful journey from rags to riches, and we want to share the uh, insightful information that you have accomplished and that you've you know, created and found that actually works and throw it to the Freedom Family. And I'm sure that all YouTubers love to give back to the community considering they have technically made those YouTubers as big as they are today. Like always, make sure to follow us on Twitter at Impulse This. Notice we will be revealing around Wednesday or Thursday of every week who the next YouTuber is going to be on this show. So that way you can tweet out a question that you have for him or the question that or a comment that you actually have for this uh, YouTuber that you want to see on our next episode. We will reveal all tweets that actually relate to that YouTuber. All right, guys, now it is time to find out who the winner is in today's Why in the World Do I Talk Like This? I really don't even know. But anyway, the winner of today's $100,000 sponsor is powered by Food. And I'm a hashtag Team Tiffany. I don't know about you guys. Put in the comments, are you hashtag Team Tiffany or hashtag Team Rick? Um, hashtag Team Tiffany. Thanks, Aaron. It was good to see other YouTubers wanting to grow the community, just like we do here at Freedom. Feeling good about ourselves. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's see who's gonna take home $250 in grand prizes. Grand! And you get to choose from all these lovely products brought to you by our partners with Freedom. And just like you should be pushing through everything, I'm gonna push through dealing with Rick's announcery, announcer voice every week. I'm gonna deal with it. Yeah, Rick. And today's winner is... I am Aiko! You've shown us the light in a world of darkness by uploading tutorials that are relevant in the mobile gaming community. By creating a tutorial on how to download the 1.2 update of the infectious game Terraria, your viewership has grown 21% organically in the last 7 days. Congratulations, I am Aiko! May your healing potions never be lesser! Congratulations, Freedom Partner, on a job well done. You did it! Yeah! Remember, guys, to share your knowledge, discuss today's topics, and interact with other Freedom Partners in the comments below. And you, too, could be rewarded for bringing the community together like a family. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Impulse, and next time we announce the next grand prize jackpot winner. Until next time, I'm your host, Tiffany, and... <laughs> Garlic breath is sexy. <laughs> right. First question, Jimothy. What did you. Why? I'm recording. Gotta love the kids. Gotta love them. Let's find out how it. Suck it in the fruit! The fruit! The problem! I don't have a rage problem, not at all. Hello! You bugs, we did be, 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 be. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried about.